Hello, my name is Coach Gregory Butler. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about another quick game concept, another one of those concepts that where it's, we feel it's easy, easy to teach, easy to learn. And if I'm truthfully honest, a, a play that I've stopped running a lot over the years, at various points I come back to it and I, and I drop it again, mainly because normally I can I can find more legwork in in other concepts such as a corner and a stick, but um. I always find that when you're teaching new new guys new things, um, you you usually end up coming back to, to this this play as one of your very first installs. And uh, I know I've spoken about it before, but uh, Coach Joe Salas has done an amazing job running this place, his favourite play, and he the things that he does with it and the way he calls it is is really really good. And we do it down a little bit even further than that. We we do strip it right back. And I know that my, my good friend. Uh, Kotowski, this is his first play that he uh, he's used to install every single uh, pre-season because of it's just it's, it's simplicity and it's easy to run. So when you get when, you, when we're bringing in quarterbacks and see who don't who have played before, it's easy leg work and uh, it's it's simple enough to teach and, and get some and get some uh, plays out of. So we will talk about the um, the Santana concept that we call it. I'm not sure what the actual air raid name is. I did reach out to a couple of um, Traditionalists, but I've not heard back from them, so I don't know what the actual traditional term for this is. We call it the, it's not the, shan, the slant shoot combo or the slant and out, slant and arrows. We call it slant and out. Uh, it's all the same thing, really. It's just, just verbiage. Uh, we just call it 53, to be honest. That's what we call it, because 50 is our quick game. And then this is our third play, so it's 53. It's nothing more uh, in depth than that, to be honest with you. But we'll move forward. Again, quick game. So we've got quick teach, quick game, and what what we like about what we like about quick game in the air raid system, and in general, is that it's easy, it's simple enough to teach, and it's easy to block the old line. When our old line, who in our case might be five guys off the street, never played before, could be wet beyond these, and they've got a learn up position. We we can't ask them to block the one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. You know, it's it's hard to do when you're playing against good quality D lines and they're rookie. When we use the term rookie, we do mean rookie, grown man off the streets, not a rookie who's never played pro ball before or a rookie who's never done this before. So it's not even like semi-pro in, in the States where they're, they're full of ex-college ballers who didn't make it. Our semi-pro and our amateur game truly is a, an amateur sport. And then, so that, as I've said there, it's another the quick game concept. It's easy to protect. The same rules that apply to our stick and to our, our uh, wide corner. All apply for this one. It's, it's a simple one-step vertical drop. We want to get that ball out of our hands as fast as possible so our QB doesn't get touched and uh, we get to fight another day. It's easy to pick up. And like I said before, I just spoke with Coach H. Um, he teaches this off the bat because it's, it's an easy um, play to install and get some arm work and leg work to your QBs straight away. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice throw to make and a nice easy throw to make, easy read to make. Uh, and the way that we we I do it right now now we strip even farther back than what I was taught when I learned this play many moons ago. Again, as as most things for me anyway personally, it can be run for multiple formations. So you, if for anybody who's seen another video of mine, we do run a lot of multiple looks and a lot of multiple um, formations. And the the, the slant out is no different. We, we can do things to manipulate uh, a look or manipulate a defense, and we try to do that. When I first when I first started out, this was literally was a, a cover one play. It was cover one. We can attack that one high safety. It's kind of it's kind of evolved a little bit we, 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 because because we can attack the, the against zones now. You know, we just read the one man, and if it, if it, we know if it's the zone or if it's a, if it's a man to man uh, coverage, and we'll just we'll attack the the um we'll attack it that way. And obviously, we can attack on other things like wheels and stuff. We'll talk about it in a little bit to attack those those beyond the zones and stuff. And uh. So we get some legwork out of it, and it's not just it's not just a cover one base in there. It's evolved over the top, over its time, and it's in and out usage of, our, of my own playbook that we, we make it fit um, whatever we need to fit if we want to run it. And again, for anybody that knows me, I knows that I like to play both my fast receivers on the outside guys. I like my wide to be my playmaker. My high is usually my hybrid, and he can be a, he can be a mix of running back receiver. Uh, bigger guy, whatever. But my wide player maker and my two receivers on the outside, 
speed merchant and I want fast, good hands, preferably but fast as fast as Fox to get out there and make lights. And that's it. And that's how we uh, that's how we attack every concept that we do. Uh, it says there the beauty is in the simplicity. Uh, what we do like about this is that the quick throw is built confidence. And when you're a young quarterback or a new quarterback in the sport, in a lot of our cases, get those, get those easy completions, it'll boost your confidence up. And you think, I can make the throws here, make the throws here. So it's, it's like almost like um, you know, creating that confidence within your QB's mind to, to uh, further out, advance his own, um, his own development as well. As I said, they're driving crazy. And I said driving crazy because we can have the wheel route. When they're in zone, we can exploit that that uh, that two eye look if we if we want to attack the outside off of off of the, the uh, off of the outs. So we, we like to add wrinkles to it so it's more than one one little uh, one little look, one little concept. And we also um we also do other things like with the shield where we where we spot boots. And uh, it's a one read throw for me, and I'll show you what how it's a one read throw for me short shortly. But we have dumbed it down. It used to be um stance land out or slant slant shoot. You get the two slants and hit the shoot on the outside or on the outside. But I've, I've, I have literally stripped it farther back than that and we just read the, read the man for now to throw it to the guy that's open. And that's how we attack it uh, at our level. And that's, and that's I've got their tags, the wheel route and the route swapping, which is shield. I've got, got no um, tips of shield. But we do, we do, and all we do is literally swap the routes over. But uh, I will talk about it in a little bit. And um this is how we run it. So we'll take a look at um take a look at huddle playbook. We'll see what we got. Uh, as usual, we're running two by two, and we're installing everything in two by two. I'll run it back and forth to the right. That's just my own personal preference. Again, nobody's right or wrong in anything we do, it's just opinions and just uh thought processes. And uh, uh, for the way that I was still taught it, and for the way that I run it today. My X and my Y holes on the line. You can flip flop that, and people do. We can, and you can have anything, anything you want to. But that's how we, how we do it. That's how we stuck with it. And it's a mirror concept. So for those that don't know or are new, mirror just means it's the same both sides. It's that both sides of the, of the, the concept look exactly the same when you draw it up. Uh, I love Coach Salas's version where he gets his running back out, out up, up in on a route. I don't do any of that in two by two. I just lock my back and stay home. Because the, the, the throw is that quick and already um, um, pre decided that back can't get nowhere or do anything. You can't even get a hand on a, on a defender to block anybody. That ball should be gone pretty fast if we were running it correctly. Of course, we don't always run it correctly. Mistakes happen. And you can never be 100% sure it's going to go well. But we try our very best. Okay. So uh, when we say slants and outs or slants and shoots, I don't know however you want to call it. You can talk about that you're from. Slants and outs for me. But um, we're we'll drawing up real fast. The three steps land. Marek, ooh, Marek. It's a three step slant for Marze. Okay. And our, our two slots are H and our Y. Let's just take a one step. Head for the sideline, almost like an arrow route. This is why it's called, called an arrow, but we're just like we're putting our look at one step, one yard, or two steps technically, and then heading for the sideline. It's that simple. That's the concept in its entirety. In in a in two by two, very simple. But let's go running back to stay home and um and block again. It's a quick game concept. So for us, it's one step in the gun. If we were, if we were on the it would be three steps and and and, and gone. But that's that's pretty much how we uh, how we look at it. And basically, what what we what dictates it for us is if they're in man or if they're in zone. And usually, this is how we dictate it, really. Okay. Too high for now, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. 
we're reading the Blackest Defender, okay? And we'll pick pre-snap, maybe the, the short side of the field the, or the wide side of the field. It all depends on, on which way the QB wants to go. But we will pick pre-snap, which we want to go, okay? Now, as I said, when I first learned this, we would go shoot, shoot, uh, sorry, slant, slant, shoot, it was called, or, or out, slant, slant, out. I thought we were told, so we, got, we would go like one, one, two, three, or one, two, three, whichever we could be right to the left, or left to the right. Uh, but we've tried to do it down a little bit more than that of late, of, of recent times. I mean, QBs had never played the game before. We've shipped it right back, and we've tried to make it as even more simplistic than it, than it used to be. Uh, so basically, all, all we ask that our, our QB to do really now is, well, no, it's man because this guy is going to go with him, okay? If this guy goes with him, then we throw, then we throw the football to the, the slant, replacing it. When, when he sees the grass, replace it with the ball. Okay? That's what we like. Again, if, and then if he doesn't, if he if, if they're in zone and, and he's sitting in his in his zone there, and he's up and he's uh, you know taking taking away the high the high coverage a little bit, you know we don't we don't want to throw it the slant into a guy that's just going to sit there. So when, when that happens, all we do if this guy's going to sit, then we'll just throw we'll throw the the out. Really simple, one guy read. You know we're not even going. Uh, Stand, stand, shoot no more. We're just going to read one guy and throw him. It's that simple. That's our, our entirety of, our, of how we read it. If a flat defender is, is in man and he goes with the H, we throw it to the, we throw it to the, to the X or to the, the Z, whichever way we decide to go. If that defender sits and stays in, like, in zone, zone type coverage, then we just throw it to the, we just throw it to the, the out route on the, uh, on the one step, ball gone. And that applies both sides. Okay. Of course, if they were only one high, if they were only one high, then we we we're not too worried about um that aspect too much at all. Because if, if they are one high, even if he's gonna sit, even if he's gonna sit in that grass, we can still attack that that stand vertically. Okay, if we if we so choose to. But again, I like to manipulate the uh, the QB's mind and really just tell him where I want this ball to go pre snap. So he, we will still use the same rules, whether it's two eye or one eye. Okay, and of course, the more experienced QB that they they can sit in that pocket longer and they can go one uh, one two three. Uh, they can go uh, stand stand out. And there's clips of, it, of us doing that like uh, sometimes. The first few clips are from pre season 2020. Uh, we've got a mixture of QBs in there, so. The, the differences are, are quite vast. But that's how we teach it. And we try and be as simplistic as possible. You know, because of our because of our, our teaching period and our teaching time, you know, we've not got long times to install stuff and, and um, you know, be on people's cases. We want to be able to execute plays right away. And in that one hour, we get to install one play with it. This is a nice, simple read of the coverage. That can give us some, that can give us some legs. Now again, if we are in um, if we are in two by two, our running backs in. Now if we do run it from trips, which we have we, we have done and can do many many times, all we do is we bring the guy over and he keeps his route. So if the guy if the guy from the from if the H is coming over to the right, okay, obviously our, our Y will bump over, okay, and our H will keep his slant. Okay, and we will just go like that. So we don't change our routes, we don't change our thinking. We keep the double slants, and our out goes on his out. So the right side of the concept stays the same with that additional slant on the inside. Uh, and again, then we can attack the backside with with the same things that we attack backside of stick, and the same things that we attack backside of uh, wide corner. Is that when we isolate our fastest athlete one on one with your DB. I like those odds and I like those matchups, point blank period. Uh, so that's what we try and do on occasion. And when we also do that, 
We want to, we want to try and keep the concept in its purest form. So what we what we'll probably do because and because of our because of my own rule of the R is always opposite the H, we should try and continue and be conforming across the playbook. We'll probably just replace that shoot with a the shoot there. So the concept's still the same belt side. And again, if the uh, if that X takes the, the guy on the um on the inside, we're gonna wide open arch, hit the ball too, and fit the backyards. Okay. Uh, I will talk about the the uh, the zone beta a little bit. We always say that when you get to the sideline in in trips or in two by two, really, is we turn it up and we turn it into a wheel. Now we can call a wheel. That's a, we can call a just a simple three wheel. And when we call a wheel, we'd be looking to take that shot. But if we're in two by two or three by one, then we might we may ask to just turn it up into a wheel. If the ball, if the ball doesn't uh, get thrown by the time I get there, I'll, I'll go back to two by two a little bit in a little bit to show the wheel again. But also the same thing applies is that um, bring our hatch back across to here. Let's just say let's just say we're in two because you know that I'm a multiple person. So I like multiple looks. We keep the we keep the continuity and the conformity of the concept itself. Now this is a one step out out. So we run that arrow the same, trying to get to that same that same area. A little bit lower. But that's what that's what pro. And if we were and if we were if we were in our King Queen look, it's still with the same thing. As you can see, still the same concept, the same look, same uh, thing we try to achieve, the same read. You know, if, the, if the defender goes down with the H, we throw it to the, we'll throw it to the X, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we, we, we are very, very simple in our teaching. Through necessity more than anything else, but it's also something that works, that's worked for us over time. So we're not, we're not going to really, really change it. I will just draw up the, uh, the wheel part of it. Two by two. So if we are looking to attack those that those uh those zones in too high, we will ask our we will ask our uh, our guys to uh, if they're trying to take away these slants with the too high, then we will then we will ask our our uh, our slots to turn their arrows into wheels. So we'll just put the sideline and turn it up and try and exploit this space. This side this side of the uh, of the safety. If and when possible. We love to exploit exploit that space if and when we can. And that, and that's pretty much the play encapsulated in everything that we do. Um, I've got some clips from a lot from 2019 and 20, and some clips from a little bit older that I can take you through and um, we can look at. Uh, we'll start off with 2019. Okay. The best thing about this is that it's, got, the best thing about the, the, the practice clips is that we've got two angles so we can really see the play. In its entirety, okay. We'll watch it through first of all. You can see the separation in between there and there. You can see they're too high. So when they're too high, if this guy doesn't shoot, if this backer doesn't shoot out with the uh, with the H receiver, we're going to throw to the H. QB's already pretty, already picked. Free snap, which only wants to go to. This guy crashes down, but it's just, it's just, it's just uh, wind addressing. But well, he's already picked that he's going left. Okay, the key, the running back stays in his pass protection as he's shooting on this on this road. You can see this this guy and this guy are running the, the two uh, eight routes. Rookie and a rookie, they 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 lose their battles, but uh, 
you don't you don't win them all. But you can see this is a, a very simple completion, very simple throw, and it's a rookie quarterback throwing the ball to a to a, a rookie receiver in a, a rookie laden uh, offense. To be honest, simple. You turn it up, minimal gain, but the promos the promotion from the thing is there. Okay, from from beyond the end zone, beyond the end zone shot. If you see we're two by two, our back will stay home. And you can see there, the keeper is already looking. He knows that that, that linebacker is not going to be able to get to that receiver in time. He throws it, and we make minimal yards, but it's still a game, it's still a completion, and that builds our confidence for our quarterback, and that's the main thing in this play. You know, he could have he could have waited if he wanted to, but if that backer didn't, that backer was just going to sit, he wasn't going to go. Then there would have been no pass play on, so he had to make that read real quickly, and that's he's doing exactly what he's taught. If I've taught him wrong, that's on me, but that's how I like to teach you. I'm just doing it straight down as far as I can, and give the QBs easy completions, and that's how we like to attack it. Moving on. Again, we're in practice because I like I like those angles that the practice zone gives us. We have got some game clips as well, but I do like the, the angle that the practice zone gives us from this from this season just because of what it is. Okay, so we're in trip, we're in trips now. Let's go to the other angle to get a better look at it. We watch it one more time. I'm not sure if this, this back actually runs, runs a route. It's supposed to. I'm going to look there and see if he did or not. You see, they're still too high. This is where the plays evolve. He stays home. He's not supposed to, but I'm not sure whether it was a QB decision or whether he just forgot to run his route. Again, we're dealing with these guys every single day. It's not always, it's not always going to be correct. When we're on the practice field. Where it's okay to make our mistakes, so you can see that we are, we are in trips. We know that it pretty when the, when we are in trips, it pretty much is they're showing too. I look, but this one's on the field is man for man, okay. And he knows he knows pre snap is going he's going he's going to go left. So the QB sees that once that backer or the DB or the safety whoever it was to be is that once that backer flashes out with our with our, our shoot route, he's going to replace him. With the uh, with the slant, slant comes into view, replacing the grass that the goal has come from. Simple slant road into into grass. Great job of catching it, tearing the field, and making yards. This is a great example of how we how we replace the guy, we read the guy. You can see that 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 defender's going out with the um, with our with our uh, our, our shoot route. We know that they're in man. So that our QB knows that it's a simple throw, replacing him in the spot that he came from. Great example of this of this play, exactly how it should be run for, for us and how we teach it. He flashes out, we replace him, sitting in the grass he came from, ball's already gone, make the catch, get the first down. I, I would like the, the running back to go on, on, a, on a shoot route there or an out route, just to keep this guy here engaged. That it, that, so this so our, our Z can can make that snap route uh, viable. However, because he's a pre-snap read for us, and this is one of the things that I, I really do preach about it, we try and make it a pre-snap read as often as possible. So it, so it, it it literally gives the QBs the confidence and the and the the, the Woody gets taken out of where they're going to throw the football once the ball's in the hands. They know where it's going to go based on one guy's positioning. Now I know some people might think this is so dumbed down and, and so and so silly. But I can only tell you what's worked for me over the years. And as I said before, and I've always said at the start of this start of this video, it's this is the play that falls in and out of love with me. I know I can get better results from other plays, but there are times when I'll bring it back because I like the the options it gives us, especially in trips. Uh so and, and I like the workings and the confidence it builds in the QB. Knowing that I can give him an easy read and an easy throw. And I think that's why a lot of us do it. And if you watch Coach Joe Salas, he, he goes 
four ball with it and he can throw it on third and fifteen and still, and still make a play. That's 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 loving the the, the uh, concept to his terms degree, which I, I I applaud. But for me, he's falling in love with it, uh, so it it won't get run as often as it probably should. And I think most coaches will tell you that that they're they're all at fault for that with some concepts that they have to get run enough. This might not get run more than two or three times a game, but in reality, it should get more than one two or three times a game. That's just on me as a play caller. I, I always feel I can do more with other, other, other concepts. Again, a lot of this is practice film, but just because of the of the, of the angles, I'm not going to apologise for that. You can see there we are in two back, and we are in what we would call our queen look. And if everyone's not king and queen, the difference is the queen is on the left hand side and the king is on the right hand side because the right hand side is much more powerful. And so, you know, that right hand, that right is elite, that right handed elitism coming from a lefty, I don't always buy it. But the queen's on the left and the king's on the right. And that's the way it's, it's always been taught to me and I've kept, I've kept it, but that's, that's just how we differ, differ it. So in this, in this play now, uh H back should replicate our, our H's role and run the shoot or run the arrow. If he does, you can see it's not the greatest example of, of, of the catch, but the principle behind it is what is why we're here and what we're trying to show you. We're trying to show you this play in multiple looks and the thing we're trying to get. And you can see from this clip here straight away, if this ball is a better thrown pass, then we have got legs in this play because we've got grass galore on the left hand side. The QB actually makes a, a terrific read. He's getting the ball out that this back at is in is in trial mode. And that's that's my former DC. He'd probably say he would have got there in time. You know, it is what it is. Let's go back. Three angles. Okay, watch it one more time. So our, our back does stay home. We don't try and take the slant over the top. Two so guys sitting there waiting for it. He does the right thing by just looking up at that at that simple back. He heads around quickly. I don't know quarrels really with the with the running back. When we run a slant, we want to get to that line, get our foot in the ground, and get our head around real real fast. He does a good job of that. He heads around. He's looking for the football. Throws just a little bit. Either too good for the running back or too poor for the running back. You can decide which you can decide which one's which. But you can see that it is a it is a great uh, it's a great look at how we uh, attack it from a multiple step. We just replace the route with another player. Easy teaching, guys. Every time I come on here, every time we do a video, we speak about easy teaching and and you know cheap install. Again, this is cheap install. If you're already running slant outs, just moving your backs around or whatever you want to do, cheap install. And if you, especially if you run a lot of stuff out of two back and you have run plays in there, then that, you know you could just add the shoot play to it. And it gives you an, it gives you another look that you can add to your arsenal. Okay. See we're in trips. We're in trips right now. That we're in the red zone, so they're pressed down. Okay. As we spoke about in the drawing aspect of the of the uh, of the video, I like to, if possible, if I remember to do it, is always a key. We want to keep that concept true to the on both sides. So our running back, because he's because he's pushed over to the right side, he can replace that that route. And in this case. You can see that it's just a nice, simple replacing of a route, which is a good angle from it. You can't see the whole field. You see they're impressed. This guy is just running around, as we spoke about from our DC. They, they are basically free to roam as they, as they, as they want to in this, in this situation. It's all window dressing for them, for a confused QB. Uh, it, worked, it worked especially well against our younger QBs. 
Did you see that? We jump it out. He's entertained by the by the DB, the receiver, and the and the uh, and the X. He can't get there. It's a great job just replacing that route, replacing the person, and picking up a first down off of it. You see, he knew he was going to that back straight away. There's no doubt in my mind. Pretty snappy, he knew he was going to the back. They blitz. Uh, the end does a great job actually of standing up, but we, but our QB does also a great job of getting the ball over him and around him, and running back does a fine job of getting his head round. And that's a great play for me. And uh, another wrinkle to our ball when we when we're running trips or running it from empty if you wanted to. The same thing would apply to running from empty. We don't run it from empty, but if we did, then it was still with, that was still with the same route technically. Let me pick up the first down. One more time. You can see that we have a lot of a lot of young live all live in this in this in this clip. And this is why we're talking about getting things out fast. Because when you're when you're blooding young old line or new old line, which is pre-season, so you know, it might not be our first it might not be our first eleven in, in at any point because because they're rotated through. We mix and match and you get an uh, a cognog of players, it's not always going to be the, our best 11 at all times. You can see that, that you know, we do a, a good ascent, there's a great job picking up late, but he doubles him as well, so we end up leaving this guy. The ball's gone that fast that they're, they're the D line can't get to him, and that's what we want to see. We want to keep our, our QB upright, one step, take it away, make yards, confidence builder, and QBs love stats. If, if I can say that for one thing, QBs love stats. One more clip from one more clip from um practice and look at the game clips as well. Again, we're in two by two now. Again, a different a different eleven people. I look at QBs back in. Okay. Watch him in the back side. You can see that's trying to confuse him with the, with, the, with the pressure. You can see that that, that, that was covering him. That was covering him, and he, he couldn't get it off. If he could have hung onto that ball a little bit longer, because that defender's dicing down. With the uh, with the with the shoot route with the out route, we know that it's going to be man and, and our our Z would have popped open, but because of their pre snap movement, he got confused and panicked and, and rushing a young quarterback. This is what we're trying to eliminate and get give him cheap, easy, com uh, comfortable throws. You see, he would have popped open seconds later, and our Z would have been open for a nice, simple completion on the slant. Again. Look at it. Can they look at it? Always show completions and be plays because it's teaching and things don't go to plan all the time. You know, there's, there are things that we have to work on constantly and consistently. And this is one of the things when you've got a young QB, there's going to be issues, there's going to be teething problems. Not everything's going to be lighting it up and be wonderful every single week. You can have one great play and 15 bad plays. And we've got to soak that up and coach with the best that we can in the time that we have. But I can speak from my experience in, the, in this season. Our DC does a heck of a job manipulating the QB's eyes by all the movement. And our veteran, our veteran QB wasn't as fussed so much. He knew where we were going and what we we're doing. But our rookie saw those guys come up to the line and move around, and he he got palpitations and he started started worrying. And you can see that in some of the plays that happened to him over the course of the preseason. And other times he just loaded up like that, you know. He knew he, he knew he was going to the slot before the before the ball was even in his hands. Because he saw the cushion for his snap. But then he comes down, look, and then he, if he had looked up again now and saw that he, and saw that, that they were in man coverage, he would he would have thrown it to the Z and had a simple completion. And this is one of the things that we would teach them on, on, on teaching pads. Hopefully they get better and hopefully we can improve them the best that we can. More clips now. In game, uh, from throughout the seasons, 
It's the 2015 in the red zone. Again, we know they're in, we know they're in mark because they're, they're in the red zone, so they're going to press it up. You can see he's just sitting there. He's he's going with our, our X, which just leaves a nice, simple out route for our receiver to take and complete. Okay? He's sitting, so he knows as soon as that guy doesn't doesn't go with our slot, go to the slot. You can't get there in time. Too big, too fat, too slow. Okay? So that guy sits, we know we've got him beat. One 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 read of the of the de defense, Mr. Major, no, no big, big significant things. One guy sits, we throw, that guy goes, we replace him in the grass. Simplest way I can I could possibly teach you, and for me, the most effective way I've ever, I've ever taught it. So one, two, three, the slant, slant, shoot uh, rule is great, but the dumbed down version that, I, that I, I've been using the last couple of years seems to work for us at our level, should I say. Okay, so now you can see that we are in Queen again. And this is again, this is 2017. You can see that we've got a whole heap of green space here. Okay, if we're hoping that we're going to run the shoot route with the with the running back, keep this guy interested. Either way, we know that we're going to have a whole heap of field here to work into. So you pre-snap, he knows where the ball's going. It's going to the X. It's a low throw, but it's a heck of a job getting it. So we move on. You can see that pre-snap. As soon as that ball snaps the ball in his hands, he knows that there's green grass there and nobody in front of the, of the, uh, behind the, 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 uh, the DB. If this ball was placed correctly, it would have been a TD. It was a bit low. But we'll take that, that's great hands from our receiver. We'll take out, we'll take that every day. And just for the, the strength of concept, you can see that, that our, our H is running the arrow, keeping our concept true. And our concept is as on point spot as we possibly can. Again, keeping that um, line back up, in, interested, and pulling them away from the defender if he was even near him, but he's not in this case. Again, I can only apologise for the for the angle of the angle of the film. And every game was was a uh, HD in 2017, 15, 16. But hopefully, you can see you can see enough to see what we do. Okay, one more clip. Again, we're in, we're in Queen. Okay, you can see what the rule is. We actually fumble that ball there and lose it, but we can't do anything about that because that's, that's past the snap. But you can see, he's in man. He knows he's in man, he's pressing him up. So he's gonna he's basically gonna look for the the slant off the rip. He's with him. This backer does drop. It's a smaller window than normal, but it's a great throw. Makes that catch. It's unfortunate they dropped the football for a young cube, a young receiver, getting some playing time. You can see that our, our H is running the shoot route. They don't honor that at all, really. But our kid has already made his mind up pre-snap. Because when you see pre-snap and you see a guy heads up over your height, you know that he's going to be in man. Nine times out of ten. And these guys, were, were this team were aggressive. They like to get on you and get your hands on you. So we knew what to expect coming into this. What we were going to get. He works his way out. We don't kiss, we're not concerned about that. You can see that that's probably a bigger gap that looks on this film. Great throw into the, into the space. Great completion, excellent yardage, shame about the fumble. Okay, guys, so about 10 or 12 clips there of us running the shoot and, uh, and out of concept. Uh, how we teach it, uh, how it might differ from other people, etc. It, it might be the most simplistic you've ever seen it. It might be uh, something that you might want to try yourselves or you may already do. Um, as always, guys, I appreciate everybody uh, jumping on and, and joining in and taking a watch and uh, taking a listen. Just my, which is only my perspective and my opinion on things. Nothing's ever right or wrong. It's just one guy, and I just like to, you know, tell you what we do, and hopefully those those that um 
that that one who can take something from it or enjoy enjoy the actual thing. So, uh, that, and that's all we can really do. But again, for now, gents, uh, I appreciate you all jumping on and, and taking a watch. Uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.